welcome you all to our annual Beta Gamma Sigma evening, event and br briefly explain to you about Beta Gamma Sigma and our William Patterson University chapter. Beta Gamma Sigma is an honor society serving business programs accredited by AACSB. What does it mean, AACSB? Uh, the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Businesses. It's uh, the foremost and premier accrediting body for business schools. Members in Beta Gamma Sigma is the highest recognition a business student anywhere in the world can receive. Since it was established in 1913, Beta Gamma Sigma has inducted more than 750,000 people. Um, and it has, uh, it has done it in more than 500 collegiate chapters in all 50 United States states and 22 countries. Additionally, 30 alumni chapters serve the needs of alumni members in major metropolitan areas, including Hong Kong. Each year at the annual Kotsakos College of Business Honor Society Induction and Awards Dinner, the college's top students at the, both the undergraduate and graduate level are inducted into Beta Gamma Sigma. The invitations are extended to seniors and juniors whose GPA places them at the top 10% and MBA students whose GPA places them at the top 20% of their cohorts. Our college, star our college started this tradition in 2007, and since then, close to 450 business students were inducted. I am delighted to be here. This is one of the fun times of the year. I will be very, very brief because I only have one thing to ask of you. Tell everyone you graduated from William Patterson. <laughs> we are very proud of you, and you should be very proud of yourself. Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to see so many um, well-dressed students um, at this event tonight. Uh, we celebrate you and um, love to see you um, getting close to graduation or uh, just as juniors being inducted into our uh, wonderful honor society. As president of William Patterson University, I am enormously proud uh, when I go to student award ceremonies and induction into honor society ceremonies. And I do several of these at this time of year. It's always a joy. But Katsakos College of Business Students, you are the biggest group of honor students to be inducted into any honor society on campus. You are um, getting national recognition for the work that you do with this Honor Society and for our distinguished alum. And on behalf of the trustees and all the administrators and the faculty and staff of William Patterson University, let me tell you how absolutely proud um, we are of your accomplishments and everything that lies ahead of you. Good evening. On behalf of my faculty colleagues, administration, and staff, I would like to congratulate those students who are being recognized and honored tonight. It was on April 27, 2005, when the chapter of the International Honor Society Beta Gamma Sigma was installed on our campus. Having a chapter of Beta Gamma Sigma is not easy. You must first become a member of the AACSB or basically be accredited by AACSB. As many of you know, only 5% of all business programs globally out of 16,000 business programs are accredited by AACSB. Without that accreditation, we would not be sitting here tonight. So my faculty colleagues, the administration, and also our students deserve a special thank for making this to happen. I would like to also thank uh, President Kathy Waldron and Provost Sandrum for the leadership and support that they have provided to the Kotsakis College of Business. Without their support and uh, formidable leadership, again, it would be hard to meet the challenges of being accredited by AACSB every five years. Good evening. As was mentioned, my name is Kathleen Alexander. Do we have a picture? Okay. 
I'm a partner in the accounting firm of Sachs BST here in Clifton, New Jersey. But really, the reason why I'm here tonight is because I am a graduate of William Patterson University, the class of 1987. Wow. In preparing for this evening with you, I've reflected on my life since I graduated and would like to share with you my recipe for success. Over the years, I've read, I have studied, I have listened, I've worked very hard. I've watched others to find out what the common characteristics of success are. First, you must demonstrate integrity. I think we all agree that we need to do what we say we're going to do and simply doing the right thing when no one's looking. What I mean is doing what you say you're going to do. Do not waver or drift. Next, you need to seek out mentors. The more, the better. They could be your parents, your family members, a neighbor, a professor, a boss, a friend. Look for people who demonstrate talents that you admire and get them to invest in you. Remember that you are who you socialize and associate with on a daily basis. Make sure you are choosing the right people in your life. And next, the important thing is to know when to say yes and no. There are times when you're not in your game, you may be tired, you're not listening, or someone asks you to do something or to help them. And you just quickly say, no, I don't have time. I challenge you to reconsider and say yes, even when you're not completely sure of what you're being asked to do. By saying yes, you may benefit from the experience. By saying no, you may miss out on an opportunity. And then, more importantly, is to know when to say no. If what you're being asked to do is something that's going to hurt somebody, that may be illegal, or jeopardize your integrity, say no. Finally, my biggest advice to you is to dream big. Because make pie in the sky goals. Don't limit yourself. You may be surprised where it takes you. In concluding, set the right examples for others to follow. Maintain your integrity. Know when to say yes and when to say no. Build your network. Look for mentors. Dream big. Be a mentor. If you follow this recipe, you will be successful. The Chapter Honoree Award is presented to those who have Farther the ideas of the society through outstanding business and managerial leadership. Any person who has achieved distinction primarily in business and administration and who possesses those qualities that Beta Gamma Sigma fosters may be nominated as chapter honoree. We will start to present the honoree award first to our keynote speaker that moved us deeply. Kathleen Alexander. The Entrepreneurship Medallion is awarded to outstanding individuals who combine innovative business achievements with service to humanity. The accomplishments of the individuals may be domestic or worldwide, but must be consistent with the ideals of Beta Gamma Sigma. It is a very competitive process and we were fortunate enough to have our nominated candidate, Mrs. Patricia Powell, receive this prestigious award. <laughs> our college has been very fortunate in forming a long-term relationship with Mrs. Jennifer Santiago from Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Jennifer has organized with our chapter two networking events, which have been a huge success and contributed immensely to students' networking skills. Jennifer has been involved in other college-related activities throughout the years, and I would like to take this opportunity to recognize her for her tireless effort and enthusiasm in helping our students succeed in the business world.
I get the, the privilege of honoring and recognizing the person who probably made this possible here tonight, Bella Florenthal. Each year, Beta Gamma Sigma selects one chapter advisor to receive the Outstanding Advisor Award. This selection is based on the contribution of the advisor to its school and Beta Gamma Sigma and is recommended by the Dean of the College. Dr. CMAX Shojai recommended Dr. Bella Thorenval to receive this award. The selection process is very competitive and takes several months. We are happy and proud to announce that Dr. Bella Thorenval has been selected as the recipient of the 2015 Outstanding Advisor Award based on her significant involvement in Beta Gamma Sigma programs that benefit William Patterson students and bring visibility to the business school and the university. Hi, I'm Chris Caracella, the CEO of Beta Gamma Sigma. On behalf of our Board of Governors and staff, I'd like to congratulate Dr. Bella Florenthal for winning this year's Outstanding Chapter Advisor Award. While we receive many worthy nominations for this award, it's clear Dr. Florenthal has set a new standard for chapter advisors. Thank you for all you do for your students at the William Patterson University Chapter of Beta Gamma Sigma. Members of William Patterson University Chapter of Beta Gamma Sigma, we will now proceed with the induction of newly elected members. Ms. President, I present 50 candidates for membership in Beta Gamma Sigma. Do you desire to be admitted to Beta Gamma Sigma? If so, say I do. You have been honored by an invitation to membership in Beta Gamma Sigma. Because of what you have achieved in scholarship and service, we are honored to have you join us. The principles of Beta Gamma Sigma are represented by Greek, but by three Greek words, the initials of which from the, na the name of the society was formed. Beta, Gamma, Sigma. Hear now what Beta means to us. Beta is the initial letter of the Greek word Bebios, which signifies honor. Honor is personal integrity and excellence of character. It is an enduring quality found in all persons who deserve to lead others. Worthy members of Beta Gamma Sigma consciously seek to act honorably at all times. Thus, they confidently pursue peace of mind and happiness for themselves, even as they serve as an exemplar for others. Honor is a guiding star which encourage, encourages altruism, enlightens social responsibility, and service rather than selfishness. I ask you to accept honor as an ideal to be translated into reality in your contact, conduct every day of your life. Listen now to the ex explanation of Gamma. Gamma is the initial letter of the Greek word gnosis, which means wisdom. Wisdom is knowledge tested by experience and tempered by discerning judgment. It abhors prejudice it insists upon freedom of thought and expression. Confronted by a veritable flood of facts and concepts, a person of wisdom exercises special discrimination to select, to arrange, to relate, to interpret, and to apply. This is a challenge worthy of the finest mind. I ask of you to continue your quest for wisdom, nurture it and utilize it in your conduct every day of your life. Listen finally to the explanation of Sigma. Sigma is the initial letter of the Greek word spude, which means earnestness. Earnestness is enthusiasm measured by achievement, disciplined by reason, and ennobled by sincerity. It is that dynamic quality which is essential for all great achievement. To an earnest person, problems become opportunities for service and profit. I ask you to accept earnestness as a guide and stimulant in your personal conduct every day of your life. You have heard the principles which members of Beta Gamma Sigma endorse and strive to uphold. Honor, wisdom, and earnestness. Do you accept these principles as your own? If so, say I do. I do. 
In recognition of your accomplishments, of your pledge to high ideals, we will now present to you the key of Beta Gamma Sigma. This key is a symbol of the ideals of honor, wisdom, and earnestness, which you have accepted. Hi, I'm Chris Caracella, the CEO of Beta Gamma Sigma. On behalf of the board and staff of BGS, I'd like to welcome you to the premier international honor society that recognizes the best students from the best business schools accredited by AACSB. In addition to being recognized for your academic achievements, we encourage you to take advantage of the many lifelong benefits that you'll find listed on the BGS website. But the best part of being a member of Beta Gamma Sigma extends beyond school. There's an active alumni network that connects you to the people, programs, and services for your lifelong professional development. You can start today by connecting into the LinkedIn group for Beta Gamma Sigma. Congratulations on being selected to become a member of Beta Gamma Sigma and being the best in business.